All right, you guys, so I recently had a friend of mine send me pictures and videos of her uh, golden pothos, which is what I have hanging right here, this absolute beautiful specimen of a plant. Um, she recently reached out to me and asked me why it was dying. Well, to me, it looks like she has root rot. So her, the reason why I feel that it has root rot is because the leaves were browning the leaves were browning really, really badly. So I decided to go ahead. I told her like how to propagate and everything like that, cut it at the nodes, but that didn't make any sense to her. So I decided to just go ahead and make a video for her benefit. So yeah, um, we're gonna propagate today. All right, so you're just gonna have to excuse the fact that I'm in my pajamas still. So here I have some propagations I've already been working on, but I just wanna show you how simple this is. So all you're gonna need is a water bottle, a pair of scissors that you use for shearing and cutting plants, um, and your plant. So first off, I'm gonna just show you, this is what I do. You don't necessarily have to do it this way. This is just what I do. So just take the water bottle, cut it like so. And you can use this part or you can use this part it or you can use both it does not really matter this is gonna be a little bit less stable than this though so we're gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna get some filtered water filtered water and I'm gonna fill this up what I typically do is at this point I would actually sorry so what I would typically do at this point is I would actually put like plastic wrap over top of it just so it can build up humidity. You don't necessarily need to do that though, but I do like to put plastic wrap over top of it, poke some holes in it, and then put the plants in those holes. Creates humidity and it seems like it helps root it faster. So what I wanna do next is I want to actually, put that down Dean, put it down. Put, pretty, put it down. Okay, leave it. Yeah, smells pretty. Okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut it at the node and I'm not gonna cut a whole bunch of this, but I do want to make it so the vines are relatively the same length. So I'm going to cut about here. So on the nodes, so nodes are basically the joint of the plant. So this right here is a node this right here is a node. This is where your roots are gonna come out and also where your leaves are gonna come out. So the aerial roots will attach to like the walls, like brick, anything like that, and then they'll just climb. The reason being I wanna cut this mainly is because it's starting to get sunburnt from hanging over the edge of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just going to take a pair of these scissors and I'm gonna cut about an inch below the node and then that will promote new growth. And as you can see right here, actually, it's already got a new growth point right there. So this will be totally fine to cut right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. And let me grab a hold of this so I don't drop it. And cut. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut this up a little bit more. So that way we can just put it in to grow. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're cutting it along the growth point. So this is technically the top of the vine and this is the bottom. So you can tell because of the position that the leaves are, so how it goes up a little bit right there. And you can cut in between each one of these nodes. So we're gonna cut right here. one, cut right here, two, three, and four. And then we could either just stick these straight back into the pot and they will propagate like that. But for this purpose, I'm just gonna do it like this. So I'm literally just going to put them inside of this cup of water like so. 
and it'll grow roots. So let me show you some propagation that I have done with another type of pothos. So this here is a um, golden goddess pothos. So, or marble queen, some, no, it's not golden goddess. That's what this is. Um, this is a golden pothos. This is a marble queen. So same thing. This has been in here for about two weeks and you can see these roots coming out. And this is just a cheap little propagation station I picked up from Dollar General. So this one actually has been putting out a new leaf. If I can get it out without breaking it. So, and I broke part of the new growth off. It's fine. So here you can see I'm sorry it's so loud you guys I live on a main road but I've got this beautiful root here this one here these are probably ready to be planted but I'm gonna let the roots grow a little bit more because I did have some difficulties with this plant with root rot myself so there's that and these So you guys, propagation doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be scary. It's literally, yes, those are new plants. It's literally just as easy as snipping something and sticking it in water and then putting it in a sunny spot. So I know that I said that this pothos got a little bit of sun. Am I bruised? Hmm. Oh, I'm just veiny. <laughs> no wonder I like Hoya. But it, this does like the plant when it's actually rooted are not a big fan of direct light they like bright and direct light but not bright direct light but i'm gonna put these cuttings in a um southeast facing window in my kids room and they'll sprout roots pretty quickly um also if you want to speed up propagations with other plants like hoya or peperomia anything like that you can actually put a hoya cutting in with them and it'll help promote even quicker growth so that's it for today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed this content find it helpful if you have any propagation tips in the comments or if you think i butchered it and i did it wrong <laughs> drop those in the comments below if you enjoyed the content let me know um, if you have any video requests, let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share the heck out of this video with your friends that are struggle bussing on keeping your pothos happy. All right, guys. Oh, and I water my pothos a shit ton. This one that's outside gets watered every other day right now. In the summertime, we're in Ohio. It's a, It's been in the high 80s, mid 90s consistently here, and humidity's been about 50, 60%. So hot <laughs> and uncomfortable and sticky so but they love it um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to check out my planty instagram account the handle is right here go follow me on instagram and just enjoy all the planty content you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye